In this video, we're going to learn how to ease keyframes in DaVinci Resolve the very simplest way. Here we are in the edit page and I have this little graphic. We got some text over this nice background. Oh, baby. And let's animate this in. Let's say at one second, we want the keyframes text to be right here. And so I'll go over to the inspector and click right here to add a keyframe. And then let's go to the very beginning and I'm just going to move its position. I'll just move the position down. And now what will happen is this will fly in like that and it will stop. Fly in and stop. Beautiful. But this is what we call linear animation. If you were going to graph out the position of this text over time, the graph would look something like this. All right. So here's the beginning and here's the end. And it's just a straight line in between. And then after that, we have a straight line. This transition here is really sharp. And so as we play this back, it kind of jerks to a stop. That really just doesn't look as nice. And so what we really want to happen is for this to slow down as it gets closer and then kind of ease to a stop. That's called easing. And so again, if we were going to make a graph here, we would have the start point and the end point, but then it actually kind of eases into that point. You can think like if you were gonna drive a car up a hill, at the top of the hill, it kind of just rolls up into the top of the hill. It's not this jagged peak. That's what we want. So how do we do that? Well, one thing that will help us with timing is if we go here to this button right here, this was just added in Resolve 20, there is this keyframe panel that lives down here below the timeline, and we can grab these keyframes and move them back and forth. And that's a great way to adjust the timing. So we could have this animation take two seconds instead, or we can push them closer together to make this happen faster. Now it just whips in there really quick, but it's still stopping instantly. It's going full speed, the frame before it stops, and then the frame it stops is just stopping. So in order to ease this, let's open up the other keyframes panel. So there's one down here below the timeline, but there's also one here to the left of the viewer. If I click on this button right here, that will bring this up and look at this. Oh boy. And if we zoom in here, we can see that we actually have a graph just like what we were making earlier. And it shows this harsh transition there. So what we can do is take this second keyframe and we can ease it. We just select this keyframe and hit this ease in button right here. And that will round out this keyframe like this. And so now as we play this back, look what happens. Oh baby, look at that. It comes in and slows down before it stops. Oh, it looks so much better. Yes, that's what we want. And so this is nice because this keyframes panel up here, we can adjust the actual values and the easing of these keyframes and we can easily kind of time them with this panel down here, which is why there's two different panels. So we can kind of move this around, ease it in. This is really the big difference between animation that does not look professional and animation that looks beautiful and professional. Now that text flying in looks a lot more pro. This is a really big deal for getting professional animations. And if you're new to animating in DaVinci Resolve, you should check out this video right here where we go through animating icons and logos inside of DaVinci Resolve. And it's really easy. You can even download the assets and follow along. There it is. All right. Thanks for, thanks for coming by. Hope this is helpful. If it is, let me know. Thanks.